Hey, what up? It's Tampa Brad, or today it's Brad with Home Love Construction, but this is for my uh, my personal YouTube channel. I wanna to talk to you about a word that I personally love, but I think has been just completely uh, misused and not used in the right way. And the word is confront. A lot of people, when they hear the word confront, they think about the uh, dramatic, uh, the you know, the drama queen who's like, I'm gonna confront him about what he did. And that is an accurate use of the word, but the use of the word in that way completely uh, takes away the power of its other meanings. And what I mean by that is, if you can't confront things in your life, and, and I'm not just talking about problems, I'm talking about situations, good or bad, if you can't confront them, and by the way, confront, I'm actually gonna go over to my computer to look up uh, the definition of this thing. I'm gonna pull the definition of this word up for you so that I can read it to you. But confront in the way that it's normally used, it's it's very limited and using just that limited definition of it uh, is missing a lot of the power of it. And the reason I brought this up is because I was recently in a situation, confront, let me pull this up here. I was recently in a situation where uh, I was with somebody and they were just refusing to actually take a second, breathe, relax, right? And look at what was actually going on. There was somebody who was having a problem and there was a very, very simple solution to it. The person who was unwilling to confront, let's say my coworker, was actually overcomplicating the situation, stressing himself out, thinking that it was gonna go badly. And the other person who he thought had a big problem was saying, hey, this is not a big problem. I just want this to happen. And we had the tools to make that happen very easily, by the way. So I've got it right here. So dude, even literally, okay, so I got confrontational. Let me do confront, confrontation, confront. <laughs> God, even the fucking definition. Okay, so the first definition, present itself, face up to and deal with. Wow, these are pretty, uh, pretty awful definitions. Wow, this is this is crazy that this is. Uh, wow, I, I wish I would have looked it up before this. But confront. So the what it says online, and this is part of the problem, by the way, is uh, confront to meet someone face to face with hostile or argumentative intent. That's not what confronting is. Like I realize that for some people that's what confronting is, but for me, let me tell you my definition of confront. Confront means to be somewhere. Right now, I am confronting the camera, okay? I'm relaxed and I'm here with you, okay? I'm confronting you through the camera. Do I look hostile or argumentative? No, but I'm definitely confronting the camera. I'm looking directly at it. I'm chill, I'm here, I'm actually observing what's going on with this. There's some cracks in my screen around it. There's a little green light that's on above it. I'm confronting it, okay? So what I'd love for you to do is take this idea of confronting and apply it to your own life. What is it that you're not willing to look at? Look, I'll be honest with you. There's sometimes that I get emails where it's like, man, I really don't wanna look at that email. Like I know there's probably like some issue in it that I'm gonna have to deal with and I'm running away from it, right? I'm avoiding it. I'm not confronting the email. I'm in a, what you would call a non-confront situation and a non-confront situation there's just there's no reason for it you're going to have to confront it eventually anyways so you might as confront might as well confront it now you might as well do it right now immediately present time right here right now confront it deal with it or confront it figure out a solution set it in motion put a reminder in your calendar be done with it the the amount of when i realized this and when i actually started doing this my stress level basically went like to zero. I mean, I'm, I'm usually have like a pretty non-stress guy, but when I started doing the wrong thing and getting into non-confront situations, situations where I was not confronting things, where I wasn't reading my emails, where I wasn't responding to text, I would have 60 unread text messages, you know, like 80 unread text messages. And like, I'm a dude, I shouldn't have that many unread texts. Like if I was, a, if I was an attractive girl, okay, fine. I might have thousands, but as a guy, you shouldn't have any unread texts. Like, I mean, maybe a couple if there's like things that you're that you're working on or just you haven't had time to get to them. Like if I have a phone call, I'll have a couple after that. But if you're not confronting things, you're gonna notice there's gonna be a lot of things that are un not taken care of in your life. Uh, and it's actually gonna wind up taking more energy. And by the way, this is, a, this is kind of a fallacy here. People think, and I've fallen into this, 
People think that it will take less energy if they do it later, but that's wrong. If you do it later, you're actually doing it twice because you're thinking about doing it now and how you do it, then you forget about it. Then you have to go through all that thought process and energy again to do it later. So there's actually a memo in my company in Home Love Construction that says when you receive a piece of work, something to do, you do it now. You do it right now. You don't wait. You don't do it later. You don't put it off. You do it right now. You handle it now. Now that doesn't mean that if there's uh, countertops to go install, you go install the countertops yourself. No, no, no. What it means is if your position is the guy that schedules the countertop installer, you call him right then. You, if you don't get him, you leave a voicemail and you send a text saying, hey, I need a schedule for this date range for this project. Let me know to confirm. And now it's handled. And so you also now need to set a follow-up for that. So that would be a, an additional part of the handling. But if you handle it right then, you're not gonna forget about it. You handle it right then, it's done. You're not stressed about it. Hey, I reached out to him. He's gonna get back with me because I have a great relationship with him and I can move on with my day and do other things. That way you can be 100% with whoever you're, whoever you're with, whatever you're doing, it gets 100% of your attention if you handle things right when they pop up. But in order to know when things pop up, you have to be willing to confront what pops up, okay? So take this idea of confronting and realize that confronting something does not mean being hostile. It doesn't have to be. Words mean what we say they mean. Have you ever thought about this? You know how a lot of people love to say, you know, money is, is uh, it's made up, it's an agreement. Words are an agreement as well. So if we agree that confronting means dealing with something on the face of it and actually looking at it, facing up to it and just dealing with it, that's what confronting means. So that's what I choose for confronting to mean. Uh, oh, and by the way, when you actually confront things, you don't have to confront people. When you're constantly confronting things, there's no reason to confront people because all the shit's already taken care of. So when you see people, you're like, hey, Joe, how's it going? You know, I know we had that thing to take care of. It's already handled. It's been handled for three days. They're coming tomorrow to take care of it. And so he's like, oh, okay. There's no confrontations. If you confront, there will be no confrontations in your life. And so take that. But, you know, don't just take my word for this. Like what's true for you is what you have observed to be true. So don't take my word for that. Go try it for yourself. Go confront things. Practice actually looking at them. And by the way, if you get in the habit of actually looking at things, not being afraid to look at them, just relaxing, stopping the, the mental chatter and the bullshit that's going on in your head, just putting it aside for a second, putting away the craziness, no craziness, like just chill, and looking at something and being like, okay, well, I see that my phone screen's cracked. I see that I just got a text from somebody about a change order. Uh, I see that there's a green light. I see there's a fire extinguisher above me. I'm just sitting here and observing that, my friend, is confronting. So do that. It's extremely useful. I've had great success with doing this. I, I can come into a situation, to be honest with you, uh, some people think that I'm like, have some great skill or some great skill set or like I'm great at dealing with people. I'm not great at dealing with people. I'm probably mediocre at best at dealing with people. But what I'm great at is confronting. I'm great at looking at a situation, not freaking out, not going into, oh, I wish it was this way. I look at it, I observe what it is, and then I deal with it. I deal with whatever's there. Cause you, guess what? You're gonna have to deal with whatever's there anyways. So you might as well look at it now rather than being forced to look at it later. And if you are willing to look at it now, people will respect you more. Your integrity goes up. You'll respect yourself more. And how much you respect yourself is how much other people will respect you. Try that on for size. So what all this comes back to is confronting, being able, being willing and able to just look at something for what it is and deal with what you actually see there. Not what you wish you see, not with what somebody else tells you you should see, what you see. Remember, what's true is what you have observed to be true. That's what truth is. Don't let someone else tell you what's true. Confront things yourself, find out what's true for yourself. So that said, uh, if this video brought you value, if this is something you're gonna do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what confronting has done for you. And remember, not confronting. Actually, tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I'm, I'm wrong about the word confronting. I mean, you know, Wikipedia seems to think that I'm wrong, but 
I don't really care what Wikipedia says. I know it's true for me. I know what confronting is. So give me your thoughts in the comments. Would love to hear them. If you have not already, subscribe to this channel. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next vid. Peace.